whoever can join today. And we have, I have the meeting for January 28th pulled up, um, with the first item being that we were going to go over last week's action items. So that, I guess, brings us to um, the first one would be to put together the KS Con DNI tutorial session descriptions, but that's done. Yep. Is that anything to comment or note there? No, we sent it to Georg and he uh, put it on the schedule. All right, actually, maybe I did that. I don't remember. So it's on the schedule. You did it and I merged it, so thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. Great. Um, and the next one, describing how to get how to get involved, expand the contributing um, document, and that's still open. So I don't know what he needs to happen there. Or maybe uh, Nicole it, just joined. Maybe she has an update. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Might be on mute. Or still dialing in. Okay. We'll come back to her. Okay, I'll go <laughs> down to the, I'll skip the next one then. Well, coordinate on, with Ben on revising the README. That's with Nicole as well. Um, George, you were gonna add a disclaimer to PR about paid unpaid? Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Okay, so that one's still, we'll create a pull request, it's still pending. Yep, still open. Okay, and Next one, look for funding for outreachy, Google Summer of Code. Is there an action item there or anything to follow up with there? Um, that's still me. I'm going on my, my trip to try to track down funds for it, uh, it a week from today. Okay. And then we have the cleanup goals document, review at the next week during the meeting and then we'll have a pull request, but this is done and completed. So we don't have a pull request yet, but we have it cleaned up and we can start uh, talking about it, which is the next item on the agenda. Great, and Nicole, did, were you able to join us? Or yes, yes. yes. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hello. Nicole. Hi. Hi, Nicole. Hey there. And I'm just navigating to the, meet, to the meeting uh, summary as well to follow along. Great. And we were just wanting to check in on a few open items. The um, describe better how to get involved, expand the contributing doc. Yep. So I connected with Ben last week. Um, uh, and so I'm uh, diving into that. Um, uh, nothing to report yet, although there is work in progress. Okay. Anything else that you wanted to update us on, or is that was that your big action item? That was mine right now. That's that's next on my list. Um, once I get through that, um, I'm going to be working on the contributing doc. Great. <laughs> Okay, so that one's still open too. Okay. Yeah. Great. Then I think that brings us to our next agenda item, which is still the revisit and update of goals for 2019 in this document here. So last week we talked about that we would like to finish this so that at FOSDEM we can show it around to get feedback and then hopefully gain some contributors who want to contribute towards the goals that we have. And so in that effort, I went through, cleaned up the document, accept the changes, uh, made some other changes, um, removed text that we uh, don't want in the document itself. I kept a copy of it just in case we want to revisit anything that I removed. Mm -hmm. So if someone says like, what, I put something in there, we can always retrieve it. Um, so that, that's what happened during the last week. And we can, um, the, the idea I think last week was that we would 
individually go through, review it, and then talk about it today. Okay. And then after today, give it a few more days, and then by the end of the week, create a pull request and get it on our um, README document or some other document. And I'm not quite sure where we'll put it in the repo yet, but okay. to have it um, tracked in the repository so that we can point people to it. Mm -hmm. So do we want to um, just sort of open discussion if there was any further thoughts as people reviewed it last week? There's still a few minor sort of grammatical notes throughout. Do we want to go through section by section or at what point do we just want to have an open discussion? I will admit that I didn't actually have time to read through this before the meeting, so that's that's my bad. Okay. Well, should we um, all take a moment to just, you know, the problem statement's pretty high priority and take a moment and read reread it and see yeah. if we have any comments? Good idea. Okay. Yeah, I think the problem statement looks good. Yeah, I think so too. Um, yep, I agree. Yeah. Any, everyone pretty comfortable with that and want to consider it close to final or worth, you know, close to being able to be shared and. Yeah. Sounds okay. good. Yep. Okay, Agreed. so if we go to work to date. Yeah. See George adding some things here, so this is helpful. <laughs> this uh, work to date is a new section that Emma proposed. Mm -hmm. um, so there was nothing here. I'm just starting to flesh this out. Yeah, he's um, typed all of this in the last five minutes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So please feel free to continue with opportunity and come back to. The... Okay, got it. Okay. So the opportunity. Let's sort of do the same. Take a close look at this copy. Um, well, the, this is from the website, the opening paragraph. So that's still current. I think what we wanted to do, though, yeah. is that um, did we. Did we want to propose a new mission? Because the problem, I think the reason this is in here and the problem that we had with the mission was that it makes no reference whatsoever to diversity and inclusion. Right. Um, so we have it, we have it copied here and then we have this comment about how it can't exist without diversity and inclusion. Um, but we haven't. The objective three is, I think, what you're talking about, that we get the mission updated. Right now, the opportunity at the top, I think, is just for us so we know what we're doing, why we're doing uh, Okay, I see. I'm going to add an, I'm just going to add a note. Um, Okay, perfect. Okay, so that will be our objective down there. Okay. Okay. So 
if we look at our first goal, do we want to look at that carefully now? And then we can go back to the mission statement we get when we get down to objective three, or do we want to dive in on objectives, a uh, mission statement right now? I think diving in on the mission statement is um, something we can save for later. Okay. Because that is actually implementing objective three. Right. Okay. And we'll take some focus. Okay. Then going through to the goal and risk sections. And this is the goals and risks for the work group as a whole. Okay. Do we feel that another goal should be sharing and communicating out the um, metrics and on DNI, or is that sort of project, you know, up to the pro each individual project and what they do? You know, first step is we're just trying to focus on get them getting to focus on the gap and find a way to track it and look at it. Does that make sense? I think that's a good idea. I mean, I totally think that communicating these things out more broadly should be part of our goal. Right. Not just the measuring of it. Just yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll chime yeah. in too. I don't, you know, I kind of take a more of a backseat with the work groups, but kind of as chaos overall, I think in the second year, a big hope is that whatever the work group might be, um, kind of moves from expressing what the areas are, those focus areas and the particular metrics, and then really thinking about them in practice. To your point then, you know, expressing those and maybe even identifying groups that are engaging with the work that you're doing. So a long way of saying yes, I agree. <laughs> I just added a little bit to this about broadly communicating this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we don't need a ton of detail in the goal statement, but we might want to beef this up a little more in some of the objectives if it's not already there. Okay. I have a question. It sounds like in this goal, that the work group, where at least the way that I'm reading this, the work group is also responsible for implementing the metrics. It, it, it feels like maybe we're providing way, you know, in keeping with the establishing and broadly communicating that it should say ways to implement, meaning that, that we're establishing and broadly communicating ways to implement these things, but we're not actually going through project by project and, and doing the work for them. But I would think that some of these metrics would be implemented in some of the tools that some of the other people are working on. I would see the, the DNI sort of driving implementation into things like metrics grimoire, or sorry, grimoire labs and auger and other, other projects. I mean, the people sitting on this call, you're right, aren't the ones that are doing the implementation, but I think it's, I think it's related to the charter of the work group. Oh. You mean like driving them into the into the software pieces? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that's how I read this. Maybe Garrick or Sarah, maybe you have a different take on this, but that's what I thought that meant. That's how I read it as well. Okay. 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 Because I, I was thinking, like, are we going into? Um, uh, you know, like a particular project, and 
I don't know, your favorite project and and actually implementing these things. But you're talking about implement implementing them in the software pieces. Yeah. How can we make that more clear? Right. Such that such that the software helps to implement them across the different <coughs> projects. Right. Maybe there's a second sentence. Oh, I, I think where this gets confusing is just the, the grammar here is a little bit weird because we talk about best practices for measuring diversity and inclusion in open source projects and um, implementing the metrics, but that's a separate, that's a different thing. So it's not, yeah, I, the grammar and the yeah. sense is weird. I, I was thinking yeah. a bit more what Nicole was, to be honest. So yes, this could mm -hmm. be maybe some clarity. So I'm thinking like, are we actually, like if OpenStack, you know, like OpenStack as a project or like going into Nova or, you know, I don't think we're talking about that. I don't know if that's right either, but it's a little, maybe a little more clear. Mm -hmm. That is more clear. Yeah. So, and these are two separate goals. Well, not, well, they're related, but they're two separate things, right? Yeah, I almost wonder if we should just make them separate sentences like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Makes yeah. It less confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So how about this? The DNI workgroup collaborates with software developers to implement metrics. But that sort of sounds like any software developers anywhere, as opposed to the chaos tools. Right. Because what you're really, I think what we're really talking about is such that the tools support those in the software, in, in these open source software projects who want to use the software to increase, to measure, right. um, you know, DNI in their own projects. We want to make sure that the software is there to support them. And is it our working group that we want to collaborate with this, those tools or other projects? And yeah, well, we're, we're going to first work to implement the, right? I guess I'm. Yeah, I don't mind who actually implements it. We'll help them. Well, we're, we're working with like me. Don, you mentioned as an example for more tools. Right. Um, right. So it, it's to make sure that for more tools um, support the metrics that we've identified such that when other open source projects 
use Grimoire tools, they can use those tools to measure that set of metrics within their own open source projects to increase DNI. Yes. Mm -hmm. Am I getting this right? I yeah, I think so. It. So how do we need to word it? So we're, all, we're also, once we develop those tools, we also, are, our goal would be to get projects to use them, correct? So, yeah, I think there's a third thing here, actually. And, and it's, not only do we want to make sure that the tools are there to support, um, to, to support folks across community but I do think there is a third thing which is is evangelizing the work so part of this is the, the broadly sharing and communicating what we're doing I think we do that in in the hopes with or with the aim that other projects will take the right. work and use that work to increase the DNI in their own communities. Right. Do we want to have that as an explicit goal at this stage? And that's what I tried to add here at the at the top was the communication bit. Because the goal, I mean the goal should be a little bit broad and kind of right, high level. So maybe, yep. I feel like I we're getting too far down into the details at this okay. point. Okay. And we but do I, have this in objective is, two. Is this, um, okay, wait, is, is this spelled out? Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm still oh, not. Was, I'm okay. still not happy with the second sentence, though. I feel like it. Um, I feel like it's not getting better. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I almost liked it more before. I think, but can we? Oh, it might be too late because you already accepted all the changes. Can we go back to what that said before, Georg, so we can see it? You were kind of accepting the changes as you were making them. Okay. I feel like that's clear. And brought me you know, more, more specific. Mm -hmm. Should we add DNI metrics here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you okay with that, Georg? I know you were continuing to make changes to that. Was there something about it that you didn't think was clear that we needed to clarify? Are you on mute? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> the goal is for the DNI work group. And right. in that second part, we're defining goals for chaos project software. And so I was trying to word it in a way that right. this, the subject of the sentence is the work group that collaborates with the chaos software project. That was what one. about? Maybe, maybe what something more like, sorry, so that chaos DNI software can, can implement DNI metrics. Because the, the reason but, that we're doing it is so that they can implement it. Right. There's a cause effect. Yeah, there's a first step and then a second step. Yeah. 
how about I like that? How about if instead of so that because I think I think it is a separate thought. See if you like this. What about what about What about comma, so that it's a separate thought? So we establish and broadly communicate X. We ensure Chaos Project software can implement such a uh, I think that works for me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Works. And I think we just need an and in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like and ensures. Mm -hmm. so yep. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. I like that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay, the risks. I think these are pretty accepted. Do I have I, I have a question about number one. Mm -hmm. Do we think I I agree in part, but I'm not sure it's the chaos project members. This I'm I'm not sure what uh, this is a recorded um, meeting. Um, I can pause oh, the recording. Do you want me to? Can you pause the recording? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I resume cool. the recording. Okay. Do we, any other risks that we want to call out or need tweaking? I would, looking at number four, um, I'm not so sure about the word uninspired. Um, I would say maybe, maybe something more like, um, something like this or simply don't have the time. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think. Works for me. Yeah. So do any of these risks capture, uh, like, um, if there's all this work being done by the group to develop the focus areas and to kind of move the metrics forward associated with that focus areas, but they're um, with those focus areas, but there's no implementation or we never see this in practice. To me, that would be a, um, I would, right. The goal is to get this into practice at some point <laughs> that people actually use these to have a better understanding of, of DNI, whether it's through tooling or whether it's through surveys, whatever the methods might be. So to me, a, a and maybe it's captured here, but to me a risk would be is that there's all this work being done yep. and that it just never sees the light of day. I, I think I agree with that because that kind of goes back to my broadly communicating in the sharing that it's great. You know, what if we make these tools and no one comes, you know, we have the party and no one comes and that yep. would be really unfortunate, I think. So not sure if that's captured here. Right. I, th I don't think it was explicitly. I like that there'd be an actual called out risk that very clearly states that. Okay, I see Don and Georg are putting that in. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That was a good idea. We implemented it. Yep, done. Thanks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, should we go to objective one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay.
question here about the risk number seven. Sorry, sorry for coming back to this. Oh no, sure. Um, so, in terms of implementing software, what do we mean exactly? We may have some metrics implemented in software. So let's say we are looking at um, contributor community diversity and contribution type that we have some implementation in Grimoire Labs or Augur that can capture different contribution types and prepare insights as to how they're distributed across whatever we want to measure, different modules, different users, different uh, com contributors. But I think also, now that I think more about this based on what Daniel just said, um, not all of the DNI metrics can can really be implemented in software. So if you think about some of the stuff in the event focus area, mm -hmm. you can't really, not all that can be implemented in, in software. And so I wonder if we should just remove in software and just say implemented. Mm -hmm. Was that was that the point that you were trying to get at, Daniel? Well, that one or no? That as I would say that perhaps a small amount of the DNI metrics partially implemented, so we may say that most of the DNI metrics aren't implemented and few projects use these DNI metrics in their work. So that, that was just a small flavor. Oh, you're saying that there shouldn't be an absolute, all of them yeah. need to be implemented? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. I'm sorry for interrupting. No, that's good. You're not interrupting, you're contributing. Exactly. But we'll move to objective one. So. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so for our use cases objective, um, are we, we're sort of purposely not putting time frames on everything or anything, right? Yeah, we have it open. Okay. Of course, I would like to have time frames on everything, but right. this is volunteer work for everyone. Right, of course, yeah. I think this is a good objective. Anyone feel it needs tweaking or improvement? I think it looks good to me. Okay, let's go to yeah, objective two. This is the objective where um, Matt, you said we want to see the metrics live in the world, and Nicole, you had pointed out we want to maybe help projects implement them. I think this is the objective that covers these. And is the objective that we be working with those five open source project partners to help them implement these metrics? Or would they be doing it on their own and we would then just be checking in with them or does that make sense? Probably the latter. I'm just guessing that there's not a lot of capacity yeah. to help guide. Okay. Yeah, and I think it probably probably depends on the project too. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a lot of cases, some of the projects that have done some of this work have been, you know, Emma Emma working on the Mozilla project, Daniel mm -hmm. Nicole working on OpenStack. Right. 
All right, I gotta go, everybody. I have to drop off. See you later. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Matt. Do we want to have as an objective for this one too that all this work is sort of again I guess kind of I guess it almost looks like a use case example number one where it's broadly communicated and shared out or is this a different am I confusing the two or we would encourage the individual projects to share it out through their channels and No, I agree with what Garrick's typing. Okay. That we that we help them promote it. A blog okay. post for for each one would be good. Yeah. The more examples, I think, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Mm hmm. Cause it kind of gets at it with the, you know, it talks about shared stories up mm -hmm. here in the right. That's thing. true. So it's good to have a, it's good to have a KR around that, it. Yeah. It's more specific. Okay. Good catch. Okay. Yeah. Good. Excellent. That all looks good to me. Okay. Should we move to three? Yep. Ah. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, three looks good to me too. I think we spent a fair bit of time talking about this one early on. Okay. Yeah. Objective four then, ethical guidelines. Okay, so I have a question. Um, and this is very minor. Is, is the name of our team work group or working group? This is uh, something for we have both cases. I prefer work group because it's just one word. Um, so that's my personal preference, but we use both interchangeably. I think, I think typically in the industry, it's, I think working group is more common and that's why you have the WG because it was just work group, one word that wouldn't be abbreviated WG. Gotcha, okay. Okay. Yeah, Kubernetes has a bunch of them, but they, well, I guess I call them special interest working groups. Mm -hmm. Or though they have working groups and special interest groups. Yeah, I think they have both, and then OpenStack has working groups. Yeah. Is there a real difference in the meaning in English that we are that I'm using here, like work group or working group? This is interesting. Um, this word use out here, is this weird? We have crowdsourced and prioritized ethical considerations around data collection. It feels like that shouldn't be there, but I don't know. There should be a comma, data collection, use. Oh, got it. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that makes okay. sense. I was trying to figure out what use storage was too. I was like, hmm. Yeah. I would almost say usage because I think that's more clear. Here, I'll yeah. just do that. Yeah. And what's what would we consider success? Like the success is if our ethical guidelines are adopted, right? In projects that use our DNI metrics and tooling and best practices, use it with 
the ethical guidelines in place, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is another one like, what if we create it and no one uses it? You know what I mean? But. Yeah, absolutely. I think the objective for KR3 is not just that we use it and no one, or that we create it and no one uses it, it's to make sure that the metrics that we create are not used to discriminate against groups right. of people. <clears throat> or weaponized is what Emma always calls it. What does she call it? She wants to prevent that the DNI metrics are weaponized. Yes, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think this is good. I think, yeah, this is almost like an area where there's been so little work done. I think that once there are the tools or the report, the metrics or the best practices, there might just be scenarios that come up that we don't quite even know about today. You know what I mean? But um, I think it's good that we're trying to think through the ethical scenarios. Okay. Should we go to five? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Coming in four, sorry. Uh, again. Um, so are we, uh, are we asking, are we telling the people that they should ask us in advance when following the guidelines, the ethical guidelines? Because it sounds to me like, uh, well, they may, they may require this, right? I don't know if this is a requirement. It sounds to me like that it's not. They may come for advice. So I don't know if we can require that anyone using DNI metrics hmm. follows the ethical best practices. And that's why KR, uh, KR3 is where that we evaluate solution for how we could enforce it. And it might very well be that our conclusion is we just cannot do it. Every idea that we come up with will not work. But maybe we can come up with a way to, I don't know, have a way that people need to sign a document saying, yes, we'll do it. And otherwise they cannot use the name metri uh, chaos DNI metric <coughs> or something. It's a licensing term. I don't know. Right. And, or could we at least be as bold as and as active to encourage adoption though? I just accepted that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the point here is that we say that establish ethical guidelines which everyone has to follow before they are allowed. So we are using more members like has to or allow uh, who, who is allowed in this, right? Uh, so the point is that perhaps if they are asking for advice, people from the working group may say, sounds good, this sounds good to me if they want to use that kind of branding. Everyone is allowed to go there and use the set of metrics we are using because everything is open source. So it's just that small difference. But, yeah. Um, yep, that is that is correct. Okay. Okay, and then are you comfortable with the way four is written? I think it's good for now until we start to dig yeah. into it. Okay. Then we'll try to get through five. Yep. Okay. Seems reasonable to me. Okay. 
So do we feel the next step here is this to um, give it a few more days and sit on it and see if there's anything further and then open a PR around it? I would uh, propose that I create the pull request uh, later today and then we leave the pull request open for a couple of days and if it comes in, we'll just update the pull request. Yeah, I like that idea because it would be nice to merge the pull request before um, before ChaosCon. So it'd be nice to leave it open for a couple of days. Maybe we can merge it on, on Wednesday or Thursday. And then the goal is to... Yeah, the goal is to discuss this in person at ChaosCon, right? Well, the goal is to have it out there so that when we do the tutorial, people can see what our what our goals are for 2019, and hopefully we'll find something that looks interesting to them to want to participate. Great. Okay. So I have a question then. Do we want this inside the readme file? Do we want a separate goals 2019 markdown file in the root of the repository? Any other ideas? That's a really good question and I'm not sure what the answer is. I would say, um, can you ping Ben and ask him his opinion because he, he's the one that's been working on trying to get us to restructure some of the readme files. I'd be curious whether he thinks it belongs in a separate file or in the readme. Okay, I'll create the pull request creating a separate file for now and then include him on it and ask for his feedback there. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm happy either way. Okay, great. Uh, should we move on to the next agenda item then? I know we're getting kind of close to wrap up. I think since we have five minutes, maybe maybe we want to talk about who's going to lead the meeting next week. Because um, I think what was the next agenda item? It was like pull requests. Yeah. There's nothing we, new with pull requests. Um, there is actually, there was a pull request that um, someone submitted changing the um, underscores to dashes to be consistent because we were using a mix of both. Um, and I sent her some feedback on that because she changed all of the file names, but not the links to the file names. So um, I think that person's going to take another, another look at it. I sent her a list of file names based on a quick grep that I did in the repository. That's the only thing that I can think of that's really in the pull requests. Yeah, thank you for for that grip. That's good. I thought it would I thought it would help because you know it's we have a new person who's really keen to to help out and I didn't want to discourage discourage that person by being like, No, you didn't do all this other stuff and so I tried to at least at least give her a list of files to look at. I will actually not be here next week because I'm traveling home from FOSDEM and so I'm kind of actually taking Monday off since I'm working all weekend at FOSDEM. So I, it's unlikely that I will join this meeting next week. Um, I actually have a, I'll be able to participate for 30 minutes next week, but not the full hour. I'm always happy to facilitate. Daniel, I think you're on mute or we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Talk louder. What about now? Now you can hear you. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll be here next Monday and I'm happy to help. So, Gary, it's you and me. Okay, if you want to facilitate, I can take notes again. Yeah. Great. And just Thanks. a reminder, Daniel, that by agreeing to facilitate, you also need to send out the agenda and uh, stuff 24 hours in advance. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and you know, I think I sent it the week I was going to facilitate, and then I forgot for this week, so I apologize on that. No, no worries. This is a, a, I like to remind people of this because it's pretty common for us to agree to facilitate and then forget to do that bit. That's yeah. standard operating procedure, I think. Yep. <laughs> By the way, Sarah, thank you very much for sending a lot of the proposals. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, and um, I was going to note that there is um, the Grace Hopper event that's taking place next fall in Florida has an open CFP as well. And I didn't know if that is an event that anyone has their company, you know, representing and planning to go already. If that might be an to go for us to have a presence at. I think it'd be good for us to have a presence at that. Um, I personally do not go to that one. Okay. It's just too far for me from London. Danielle, do you go to that one or no? Or does your company? No, not typically. I mean, this would be my first time in it, so I don't think. Okay. Nicole, do you know if that would be something you'd be attending or uh, Intel? Um, I, I have actually not gone to that one before. Um, but let's, let's chat because okay. that might be one that we want to take this to. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we can talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Great. Well, I think we're about at the hour and, um, we got a lot accomplished with the going over the goals document. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Indeed, thank you. Thank you, everyone, and have a great rest yeah. of the day. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.